Hi, so a lot of people have been asking me how I used to record my screen for my tutorials and also be able to show my face and everything looks very creeps and cream. And that is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. I'm going to show you the best way to record your screen and also record your face or your head, your talking head and merge everything together. I'm going to take you step by step and show you how to do it in the editing platform, how to record your screen, the best way, the best software to record your screen with. So the first thing you need to do is to go over to your browser and type in OBS Studio. I know you must have heard about OBS Studio, you must have tried it, but wait till you watch this tutorial. Like, I'm going to blow your mind, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to blow your mind. All right, so let's visit OBS Studio on Google and hit enter. So here is OBS Studio, click on OBS Studio to download. So they have different options for the software. They have the Windows, they have the Mac OS, and they have the Linux. So depending on the one that you're using, if you're using a, a Mac, you can just download the Mac. If you're using a Linux, you can just download the Linux. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm currently using a Windows computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows. It's currently downloading, and as soon as it's complete, we're going to move over to the installation and setup phase so it has fully downloaded right now so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and click on the obs so when you double click on the obs the next thing you're going to do is to click on next then click on install so we have three options here optimize for streaming recording is secondary optimize just for recording i will not be streaming and I will only be using the virtual camera. So you can use OBS to stream live on YouTube, Facebook, and even Twitch. I'm going to be making a dedicated video for that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing the video. Let me know in the comment section, and I will go ahead and make the video for you and show you guys how to optimize OBS for the best streaming performance, okay? So, but for the purpose of this training, we're going to go ahead and, and click on the second option, which is optimized for recording. I will not be streaming. So we can always change it later. That doesn't matter it's just for initial um, setup. So we're going to click on next. Here we're going to select our base canvas. So everything is okay the way it is. Everything is okay the way it is. So the next thing we're going to do is to click on next. Everything is in order. So next thing we're going to do is to click on apply settings. And here you have it. You have a note from OBS. Just go through it to understand better. So now we have the OBS studio. So I'm going to show you how to now configure it to start recording your screen. But there is a very important thing you need to do to be able to record the best resolution for your video. So the first thing you need to do to make sure you get everything right is to click on settings. So now we're on settings, you go over to output. So on output, you go over to recording, okay? You go over to recording and as you can see, you'll be able to select the recording part. That's where you want all your recording to be saved. So automatically it goes to your videos. So if you want to have a folder for it, then click on browse, select the folder so that whenever you record your screen, the video will be saved inside the folder. So don't miss that part. Then you come over to recording format. Now I cannot be able to select this because I'm currently using the screen record to show you guys this thing, but it's going to be different on your end. You can be able to select this. So if you select the drop down menu, you're going to see different option MPV. In fact, when you install it the first time, it's going to be on default MPV. So I always change it to MP4 because most of the editing app or software do not recognize the other format. So I strictly put it on mp4 and then you move over to video settings you click on video settings make sure it's on the highest resolution which is 1920 by 1080p 1920 the base canvas resolution should be 1920 by 1080 then the output resolution should be 1920 by 1080p now in a future video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use obs to live stream on facebook twitch and even youtube even if you don't have a stable network i'm going to show you guys all the settings that you need to use to be able to work with your live streaming without any lags so but that's by the way now you have everything selected like this you're sure that everything is proper then you click ok to save your settings you click ok to save your settings and there you have it now you want to create a scene i already have a scene created here but if you want to create a scene um that's the scenes that's to start recording your screen all you have to do is to come over here on the scenes and select a scene and name it anything you can be it can be um entire desktop it can be um display capture it can be anything you just name it 
however you want it so i'm going to just leave it as scene two for this purpose of this training so now we have the scene two and then for sources you're now going to select the sources that you want now we have different types of sources here we have the application audio input capture blah 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 you have the browser and a lot of people mistake the browser for the screen capture right but if you use the browser the disadvantage is that when you want to maybe import something from a folder the screen will not capture the folder right it will not capture anything apart from that particular browser which will actually hurt or affect your recording or your tutorials or anything that you are trying to show on the screen so i usually use display capture so display capture is going to capture everything on your system anywhere your cursor is whether it's on your desktop or on a file or in on a browser or anywhere is going to show that so we're going to go ahead and click on display capture and select display capture 2 and now you can see it is actually showing us um our you know my desktop so um here is on automatic so i'm leaving it on automatic and everything is okay captures cursor and it's okay so make sure the capture cursor is on and then hit OK. So now you can see the resolution is taken. All you have to do is to drag this and make sure that everything aligns properly. Any place you are on, if you are on a browser, you will be seeing the browser anywhere your cursor is or any last place that you visit on your system is exactly what is going to be showing on your screen as you're recording. So it's just that easy. So it makes it easy. So now you can see if I open another browser like this, you see that it's showing on the screen. If I type anything, you see that it's showing. Um, if I try to open a folder, you also see that it's showing the folder is showing here. Like as you can see, you can see the folder. But if I had selected the browser capture, now that I open this folder, it will still be showing the browser and it will never show this folder. So this is what I mean by selecting um, that you should select the um, entire display capture instead of just the browser but it all depends on what you want to do if you don't want people to see your folder or anything but i believe it makes your tutorial very fluid and very very smooth and also very professional when people are able to see everything that you're doing on your screen then you can blow out the parts that you don't want people to see or the parts that are actually private to you so that is how you can set up this but please stay Stay with me there's a very important setting that you must you must you must handle and that is the desktop audio and the mic audio now the audio mixer is where you're supposed to pay the most attention to because if you're recording your screen and the audio is not on let's say this audio is mute you cannot synchronize this video. You cannot synchronize this video in any way. It'd be difficult for you to synchronize the screen with your video, right? It would be so difficult for you to synchronize the screen that you're recording or the recorded screen with your recorded video. So it's best that you make sure that your audio is on. That's the mic slash audio is on and this is actually the internal this computer internal microphone and the desktop audio is the audio from the browser or the desktop so any click that you make if you're playing something on your browser or something the audio will also pick up and you're going to record everything okay so if you want to record your screen and your face at the same time what you're going to do irrespective of what you're using to record you are going to use your system that's your computer to record your screen with the obs just as i've shown you guys and then you're going to use your either your phone if you're using your phone to record or your computer and record your video so what you have to do is that immediately you put on record here you're also going to put record here so you hit the two record almost at the same time so that it won't take time for the editing software we're going to use to synchronize the two videos together so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that right now if this video has helped you so far don't forget to subscribe to the channel and most importantly like this video so that more people can see it and benefit from it it's not going to cost you anything come on go ahead i just taught you something great all right so now we're going to synchronize the screen recording and my video and the best software that i use for that is adobe premiere pro and then you can also do this with your phone if you have the mobile phone editor but i think you have to now do it manually which is why i recommended that you hit the record almost at once if possible at once so that you won't have a lot of discrepancy so when you hit the record button and you're ready to record before you record you clap three times one two three so that way you have a waveform one two three 
So the waveform will appear for the video that you're recording with your phone or with your camera and the waveform will also appear for the screen that you recorded. So that way you'll be able to find the waveform and merge them together. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So here is the video that I recorded now that I was showing you guys. So you drop it on the timeline. This one is a screen recording. You also bring the screen recording and drop it here. See what I did here. I made sure that the one I dropped on the time timeline, there is a space, there is, you know, a timeline between them so that I can easily slide this one under. So the screen recording should be the first one that you put in and then your audio, your video, the video should be on top of the screen recording okay so just as i've done it and as you can see i started and ended almost at the same time so it's as if they are equal but if i zoom in now if i zoom in now you can see that there are some discrepancy let's check the front okay it's here so you can see there's some discrepancy but see what i'm talking about the waveform i talk about you know merging it with the waveform so here is the waveform so as it is like this is already almost aligned so what i would need to do is to just push it a little forward push it a little forward like this and it will perfectly align in my own eyes but if i play it right now you see it's not perfectly synchronized but you can still count when you start showing the screen the discrepancy won't be that much but to do it professionally and accurately all you have to do if you're using the premiere pro software is simply highlight the two videos and right click and then you click on synchronize so you make sure there is space in front and space at the back because the software is going to push the video either backwards or forward. So you want that you want to create a space where if it pushes the video, there will still be space. There, there will be nothing hindering it or it won't go and overlap on another video. So here you, you right click here and you click on synchronize like this. Click on synchronize. And then make sure you highlight this audio, this audio, and then track channel. You select either one, two, but I always permanently leave it on one. And then make sure you highlight this audio and click OK. So it's going to take time and process. It's actually an AI. It's going to take its time and read the audio waveform and then align them together. So by the time I play this audio now, you see that they are both aligned and the audios are the same thing. So what I'll now do is remove the audio so this is exactly why you should make sure that the screen recording has an audio okay make sure that the screen recording has an audio so that you can always synchronize them together with your video and everything will be together i'll also show you guys how i make my video small like this like what you're seeing on the screen now how you make it small now it has completed and is perfectly aligned now so you can see that everything all the way from they are together now so if i play it now you can see that you notice that it's no longer echoing you see so it's no longer echoing or overlapping itself so what i need to do is to bring this to the beginning here and then go ahead and drag this one up or lock this one and delete the audio for the screen recording delete the audio don't leave the audio for the screen recording else you have a very bad audio because the audio and of the screen recording and the, the main audio from your camera is going to be the same thing but you have the more quality like i'm using the quality microphone for my audio recording like you're hearing now the audio is script but when i play a video an audio from here you see that the audio will not be nice because the two audios the one that was recorded with my system and the one what that was recording with the mic will be you know will be overlapped like they will be together form one audio waveform like this and then if it's playing it won't make any it, it's the sound will be horrible so you're just going to go ahead and delete this and then replace take this one off and then you have two videos and one audio or another fastest way i do it is all i do is just drag this audio up so i drag this audio to the first one so it replaces the audio for this screen recording so now the one under is the screen recording and the one on top is my video and how do you now expose or show the screen recording the, the best way to do that is simply come over to make sure you highlight your video itself the video um, timeline itself like this one highlight it and then go to opacity go to effect control and then go to opacity and then click on this tool and then it will automatically make it like this so what you now need to do now is hold down shift on your keyboard and then drag it to form a right proper circle like a proper circle now we'll 
form the right proper circle. Now, if I don't hold down the shift, see what is going to happen. If I don't hold down the shift, see what is going to happen, right? You can see what is happening here. So I won't be able to get that proper circle shape. So to get that perfect circle shape, all I have to do is to hold down the shift button on my keyboard and then drag this here like this and then we'll have a perfect circle shape. And now that you have the perfect circle shape, you can now choose to direct the circle to expose whichever part of your body that you want to expose. So I want it to show my head and a little bit of my shoulder and my hands. So this is perfect. So now the next thing you need to do is to click on motion. Okay, click on motion here. That's on that video, you click on motion. That way you'll be able to reduce the size. Okay, you'll be able to reduce the size and then move it to any position that you want like this, like so. Reduce it to this position. It's perfect like this. And then it has some feathers that I don't like. All I have to do now is to remove the feather to zero. Okay, reduce the feather to zero and we'll have something amazing like this. As it is like this, it's perfect for, let's say I'm showing my screen and I don't have anything that I'm showing on the screen, like I'm talking like this and I want to show what I'm actually saying. Like I want to show myself in full form. And remember, I have done this for the entire video, for the entire video clip. So let's say from here, from this point now, let's say from this point now to this point, I was just talking something that is not related to what I'm showing on the screen. So leaving myself in that small circle will actually be boring. So what I'll do now is to cut out the, the place that I need to show myself, you know, like I've done here, I want to show here uh, to here. So I want to show myself talking from here, from this point to this point. So the next thing I need to do now is to highlight this. Now to cut this, you just use this razor tool. That's what I use in cutting this, just in case you're new to video editing. But if this sounds all alien to you, if you don't know how to use Premiere Pro, please let me know in the comment section. And I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Premiere Pro to edit your videos professionally as if you're a professional. And trust me, one or two videos will make you learn and you start editing professionally. Trust me, that is it's not as difficult as it looks. It looks complicated with all the buttons and all that, but it's not. Trust me, you can do it. You can do it. So um, let's highlight. We'll go to selection two, and then we are going to the highlight the one that we selected here. So now I have a lot of effects that I've already added to this video. I've added opacity, I've added some color correction, I've added some audio correction. And if I go, if I right click on this selected um, video clip now and click on remove attributes, right? And click OK, it's going to remove everything in the video and make the video look very bad like this. Let me, let me show you now. If I remove everything, it's going to make the video look all washed out because while recording video, the video, I record it on flat and then color grade the video afterwards, which I'm going to still teach you guys. If you guys are interested to see it, let me also know in the comment section. It's part of the video editing class that I'm going to be taking you guys on. So, um, but I don't want to do this because I don't want to start afresh and start color grading and start doing all that. What I need to do is to select the clip, right click and click on remove attributes and then uncheck this effect here. So you uncheck the video effect and uncheck the the audio effect. Now I've protected the color correction and the audio correction from being removed with this uh, method. So all I have to do now is to click OK. As you can see, it has the color correction and also has the audio correction, but it's now big, like it's now normal, right? So as you can see here, you know, I started here to here. So here from beginning of this place, you can see that it's, it's small. And then after this selected clip, you can see that it's small as well. So that's just how to do it. So if I play it now, so you can see how smooth it is. So this is the easiest way to record your screen and also record yourself at the same time and then merge everything together. You can do this on any editing software, but I prefer to use Premiere Pro because it seems easier and faster for me to achieve anything um, that way than trying to struggle to merge the video and do all those things. So it's much easier like this. So the best way I do it is that just like what I did, I'll make all the video clip like this if I'm doing a tutorial and then I'll now start anywhere that I'm talking like this. I'm talking about, you know, something that is not related to what is showing on the screen. I'll cut out that place and make it, you know, visible, like make myself visible very well. And then when I get to the point where I'm talking on the screen, I'll now, you know, switch over to 
this style so it's way easier to achieve and it makes the editing process super fast and seamless so now that we have that out of the way i would like to recommend that you go watch this video next to learn more amazing way to make money online using digital skills that will blow your mind so easy for you to do and it's something that you can do with your phone if you're interested in learning more ways to make money online then just go watch this video next and thank me later see you on the other side